called um, calming signals. <laughs> no. Okay. So she just had a little shake then. Now we have to look at it in context. A calming signal is an early sign of stress. And we'll just ask her to come this way, across that way. Yes, that's my beautiful camera. Dogs use it to communicate that they're feeling... Okay, we'll stop. So we can see that she has seen the other dog. Now, when we're really worried about something... Good girl. When we're really worried about something, we do want to give them an opportunity to check it out. Yep. And that's exactly what she did. She was able to look and dismiss. And that's what we want. By automatically, you know, taking the dog away from something, it doesn't allow them an opportunity to check out what's bothering them. Now, we always want it at a distance at which they are not reacting. And that's where those early calming signals come in. And those are just early signs that she's starting to feel a little bit of discomfort. We're all really good at recognizing the barking and the lunging, aren't we? Early calming signals would be that shake off that she did. Yep. And we always look at it in context. Was she shaking because she was wet? No. So chances are she just looked at the other dog and had a little stress shake off. And that's just like her going, whew, like a sigh. Other calming signals would be um, a stress yawn. <sighs> Not necessarily because she's tired, but because something is causing her concern and she's trying to self-calm. Yeah. Head turns. Another one is a lip lick. Of course, they lick their lips when lick their, lick their lips if they're getting a treat. But if we look at it in context of another dog, it could very well be them self-calming. It's those early signals that we want to pay attention to. Okay.